Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. You're pretty snazzy. Thank you. Mm, that nice little. Oh, thank you. I haven't showered. Sick. Yeah, that's good. Gross. I'm disappointed in you. Why aren't you disappointed in me? Oh. I've been up to seven in the morning. That you're making it worse for yourself. Were you looking Stop. for your keys? In I was hunting for it. Hunting. You guys gave me like ten minutes to get ready. So like I didn't with know a bow it. and arrow? Uh, yeah. <laughs> when the fuck are these keys? I was so angry. Why? Because I had them last night. I went to the car last night, and then he just disappeared on me. Some bitches are still in the car. I checked the car. They weren't there. Did you drop them in the field? I don't know. Do you have a field? <laughs> kind of, I guess. I thought you were drinking. I would never. I'd get drunk. <laughs> off drugs. <laughs> I'd get drunk off drugs. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Um, who are you? Adrian. Who's that? One of the artists of our time. The clown. The clown. Cam's, Cam's replacement. The clown. Do you want me to extend it? Extendo Patron? Extendo Patron. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess that's as fully extended as it gets. That's all right. Just yeah. move your chair closer. Hey, dude, turn your chair. We're, t we're, we're talking, not them. <laughs> we don't got to be like. Okay. Is he still good in that view over there? Um, honestly, I don't care. If the camera sees you or not. I know. <laughs> it's not about me, it's about you. I know. I can smell you from here. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you ever lose your keys while you were drinking? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't sure if this was like a new sober thing. That's I lose my keys it. like once a week. Uh, you don't have like a spare? I have a spare house key. I don't have a spare car key though. Well, can you start your car with your spare house key? <laughs> I can try. I so you haven't even tried. I haven't even tried. No, I didn't think of that. So you're not. So I'm a failure. What do you want from me? There we go. Sorry. Your birth control. Wow. It's time for his birth control. Fucking suck. <laughs> Why'd you wake up at 7? I always wake up at 7. Really? Yeah. Dog, dog goes out at 7 a.m. And then you go back to sleep? No. I'm up, I'm up to go. Even if you're up super late? Yeah, I went, up, I went to bed like four last night. Or five. I woke up two hours later. It's hmm. pretty impressive. Is right. it? I can't do that two hours of sleep. Though. I'm like out. That's because you're soft. What's your secret to no sleep? You do it for a couple of years, you get used to it. Mine's depression. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yours. Too. <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough. Listen. What time? What time he's is he? He's listening. You guys, <laughs> you guys left early after the Halloween thing. I left early. I left at midnight. Midnight? They left yeah, at what? Yeah, Irish goodbye. Yeah, Irish goodbye yeah, to everybody. We were, to, we were supposed to leave together, and I'm saying goodbye to everyone, and I turn around, and he's gone. Yeah, I don't know their names. They don't, they don't know who I, they haven't spoken to me all night. I don't give a shit who they are. He doesn't know their names. It's like literally Kyla, Danny, <laughs> like, Katie, <laughs> Allie. Everyone that works, Everyone here. works here. If they work, I'm going to see them tomorrow. Danny's friends, I didn't give a shit about. I'm not going to see them again. We'll talk about my girl like that. Yeah, for real. I thought it was his family. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought it was his cousin showed up. I thought it was <laughs> You did fucked too? up. The, the extra friends besides this girl, I thought they were his family. That was his cousins or something. Yeah, I was like, oh. Or her brothers or something. <laughs> Come on, stop. They didn't speak English to me, so I didn't care to talk to them. <laughs> oh, man. That thing was, like, kind of cool, I guess. It wasn't cool. It wouldn't change my life if I stayed home. Honestly, it wasn't cool, but, like. It was fun to make fun of people. It's fun to go out with the, the guys here. Yeah. We can go to a <laughs> cool thing. Seeing Blade was sick. There were some fire costumes. Yeah, like the Elvis. No, Blade was on point. Fat Elvis even had the, the, the goth even people. Had, the goth people were fire. Fat yeah, was Elvis yeah. was fire. Because yeah. it, I felt like it was a real costume. It probably like times, he's hundred like, percent worn that costumes before. Costumes and they like look the best of that character. Yeah. This was real. This is what he, Elvis looked like. He hundred percent goes to Vegas and cosplays that on the Vegas trip. Yeah, like he was wearing the diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> that Elvis had, you know, like the clog, digestive problems, you know, from the pills, yeah. probably going septic from the opiate. Like I could see that in his costume. He probably sleeps on the toilet for the, hope, the one day 
It'll be the last time sleeping on the toilet. Die on the throne, baby. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm lonely at the top. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even show that in the movie. Did I didn't see the movie no. yet. No. It was weird. I heard it was good, though. It was. It was, like, kind of schizophrenic. Like, I remember being 20 minutes into the movie, and I'm like, <coughs> is this the movie? Like, I thought, like, previews were still going. Because <laughs> it was so, like, here's five seconds of something and another thing and another. I think they were, like, trying to ramp up to get to a certain time period. Yeah. And then they're like, this is what the movie's about, you know? Yeah. But whatever. You should see that movie. I want to. I, I keep looking at it from my mind. HBO pass by it. I'm like, I'll see it tomorrow. Yeah. And then I put on Game of Thrones or House of Dragon or something. Yeah. Because I'm jerk off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, here's the part with the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Family yeah. get together again. Yeah, and then Cam and I went to the um, the sneaker. What, what even was that? They did like a little like Halloween event, a cold shoulder, Joe and his people. I'm disappointed in Joe dressed up as Jared Leto Joker. I mean, it to be honest, his girl wanted to be like, uh, what's her name that plays Harley Quinn? Margot Robbie. Yeah, she wanted to be Margot Robbie fucking Harley Quinn, <laughs> so he kind of got fucked. They were going to do basic like cop and prisoner. Yeah, yeah so but cool. that's gay. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then I was talking to these two guys for longer than I should have. <laughs> And I was like, oh, that's cool. They're, like, dressed up like cops. Yeah. But then it turned out they were actually security for the party. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> so. Yo, they paid them 50 bucks for, like, how much? 10 hours of work, probably? They were super cool, but they had, like, knives and guns, like, for real. And mercenaries? And I thought it was props. <laughs> yeah. Yo, your God, fit is I didn't sick. get, like, crazy <laughs> and start, like, pulling their weapons out. Like, like yo, oh, how much you pay for real? This? Boom, boom, boom. That'd be funny. Yeah. But I, don't, I wasn't in a costume. Yeah. Uh, Cam didn't tell me that it was costumes. Otherwise, I, I would forgot. have worn the cat costume. <laughs> I just I'll never recognize you. I dressed up the day before. I wasn't dressing up again. I dressed up yesterday. I had my onesie on yesterday. Yeah. You're, Minion. And I got another one tonight. Yeah. Minion onesie? Yeah. Can you wear that on Tuesday? <laughs> I wore it yesterday all day and I was sweating balls. Yeah. It was getting moist in there. It's like those styrofoam cutout ones. They're like flat. No, it's no. a onesie, dude. It's like, no, it's it was like, it's like a really hot fleece onesie. I kind of just stopped body jacket. To what you were saying, and I pictured that banana <laughs> costume guy, <laughs> and I made up my own story of you in my head. Okay. So I apologize for that. No, you don't. You're not sorry at all. Um, Yo, is my phone going off? No. We just left you right there, Jordan. Wow. Yeah, it is. We should get pictures of all the Uber drivers we've ever had and do like a hit or pass. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Some of them are fire. There was a weird one that got me last week. Thomas? I think you, remember that guy that came in? Yeah. Super sparkly? That threw me off. You would have? I didn't know where to look. <laughs> I was going to look in the eyes because you <laughs> staring at me, trying to have a conversation with me. I'm trying to eat food. <laughs> but I looked Where down, it's too sparkly. Where can I look that I'm not going to offend him? <laughs> so you looked at his dick. I looked at I you. I saw you. You looked down. <laughs> I did look down. That'd be good. That'd be, that'd be good. Have all our Uber, Uber each drivers come in. Get like hey, weird pictures of them. Snap like, a quick photo of you. you. Go through like all of our receipts and find the winner and then invite them here by ordering food. <laughs> <laughs> just like let them know, like out of the thousands of Uber Eats we've had over the last two weeks at Borrowed Time, we would fuck you the most. <laughs> they were most likely gonna walk out the day. Like, they would just be like, okay, um, <laughs> I just need to take a picture <laughs> of food. And then Make I sure leave. you rate good. <laughs> <laughs> I need five star. Damn, that's racist. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> nice one, Cam. <laughs> Racism isn't funny, Cam. Yo, they do be like, I hate when people, like, ask me to rate shit. I'm like, now I'm not. <laughs> rate what? Like, like, leave the stars or, like, give them a thumbs up or any uh, of that. I'll, I was I'll like, like, I was do it, gonna do it. Like it's just, like, a pop-up on a computer. I'm like, oh, go away. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, well, I'm just trying to order my next meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, thumbs up, whatever, five stars. Okay. You fucking didn't even delort. 
deliver my food, I'm still giving them thumbs up. I'm yeah. just like, get out of here. They'll fuck up my order. I'll still give them five star. Yeah, <laughs> trip. bro. Yo, it's not their fault. It's usually the restaurant, to be honest. Yeah, but they, they just are, grab the shit and go. They don't, don't give a fuck. I agree with that. I feel like they should read the order and check it. They don't That's give a fuck. Yeah. Like, I'll order, like, a meal and protein shake. Yeah. And they don't bring the shake. That's annoying. And it's like, did you even read the fucking receipt? Yeah. I don't know if you have to be able to read to get the job. You probably just have to have a car and a driver's yeah. license. I mean, to be honest, they just follow, like, the GPS thing everywhere. It tells them what the to gypsy. do. Yeah, it's probably like a mindless job. Are you just assuming that you're putting? Down you would have to be. Br- you have to be brain dead to just drive all fucking day. What I'm not going to talk. What about about someone's it? career and you're just talking shit all over Yo, the career? Imagine driving in Fort Lauderdale all day, every single day. Yeah, I've done it. It's horrible. John sent me on a lot of runs. Yeah, I mean, I've done it too, Adrian. But like, I'm talking about like for a job. Like, it's horrible. It was a job. I just didn't get paid for it. I wasn't, I'm not talking about the apprenticeship. We still had to run around everywhere all the time. Yeah, I know. Cam's like whispering as if it's like off mic. <laughs> Adrian, I'm not talking about the apprenticeship. Sad dog. You can do what you got to do. Cam's Me never personally. had a real job ever in his whole life. Well, he brags about <laughs> going to one half year of college. <laughs> like he's better yeah. than all of us for accounting. I went to three years for a two-year degree. You just <laughs> not, <laughs> loser, <laughs> and you dropped out <laughs> twice. <laughs> loser. Yeah, but that, at least I knew what I wanted when I dropped. Out. I was like, I'm not coming back. <laughs> That's when. Were you still getting paid from the government at that time? When I was in college, yeah, I hadn't started yet. It wasn't until I got this job that I was getting paid. Oh, really? Yeah, I was getting a full ride to college, but once I dropped out for the program. Yeah. What's the program called? Vocational rehab. Oh. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Then you need to like rehabilitate Vocational your learning. Rehab. That's what it was called, yeah. Is it for people that like work too much? <laughs> I think it's people who are just slow learners who need extra help on like their tests and shit. It's like all my high, throughout all school, I was putting in, I was putting in like. Um, you got the extra time. Yeah, I can go to like a separate room if I wanted to. I just chose not to all the time because I don't want to feel like a loser. I always made fun of that kid that walked out the door. wrong all the time. I was like, damn, it's that kid (laughs) that takes extra time. (laughs) Okay, that's fucked up. I never thought it was fair, to be honest. It's like when you're handing in your test, you, like, peek over at the slow kid. (laughs) He's, like, got three down so far. (laughs) 20 question days. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, Yeah, the kid doing the L, that was me. Sorry about that. (laughs) (laughs) So when you started, did I know about that? No, but you, you, I ended up having to get you to sign paperwork, so it was like a month or two in. I was trying to like think about this morning, the first day you started, but I can't. It's very so fucking I remember long ago. It. I remember it was, it was like? yesterday. I came in to get a, a tattoo from Melissa. You didn't work here? No, I, like when Hypnos used to work here, I, he told me she's doing free tattoos. I'm like, oh, I'll get one. Right. So I came in Why, and I was like. you had no money or you wanted to support her? Did I didn't know, know I didn't know who she was. Oh, okay. I never heard of this place you before. Free, free tattoo. Yeah, it was free tattoo. And she oh, wanted you him to do one. He wanted to do one. <laughs> and now you hate those people. How do you feel? About the same, really. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I came in for that. And then I was like, are you guys taking apprenticeships? And she's like, I don't know. You can ask John. So I went up to you while you were tattooing. And I showed you my Bad shitty move. portfolio. Bad move. I didn't know any better. She's like, to come talk to you. Yeah. Showed you my trash portfolio. And, and you just boldly, you're like, all right. Yeah, I was like, are you John? You're like, yeah. We look at these pictures? Yeah. <laughs> you should, I don't think you looked at it. I think Seth looked at it. <laughs> yeah. Like, Seth, he, look at these like nice he work. fucking knows. Yeah, like he fucking knows anything about art. <laughs> just took my number down and then you called me the next day while I was out with friends. I'm like, all right, guys, I got to go. I'm being called in for a job. You're like, oh my God. They called me. I was hoping you wouldn't call me the next day. I was actually going to not answer the call. <laughs> He was like, damn, I couldn't get one oh, yeah, like, fucking like day. He was like, this is the first time I've hung out with my friends in months. And you guys are calling me now midday, like an hour into hanging out with him. I was in my solos. Was flexing that like he had friends? Had. Had. <laughs> had. had. All my friends. Well, mine are still alive. Cool. You were yours. You were on vacation with your parents, Adrian. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. He's at fucking Publix with his mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got to go get a sick job. So then mom. what? We were like, yo, just come in. Yeah, you called me and just told me to come in. And then I came in. 
Yeah, I think that was at the point where I was just like saying yes to everyone, yeah. like knowing I was going to fire everyone in like a week or two and I would just keep the best one. Yeah. I don't do that really anymore, but when I was up for it, that was that was good because everyone would compete against each other. Yeah. And then you fired me. Yes. Well, you didn't even fire me, which is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky fired me through Dan's phone, which is even more fucked up. Yeah, Ricky was doing that for a little bit, and I was just kind of like letting it go. I think, I don't even, honestly, I don't remember it, so it wasn't that bad, like your first bout of being here. Um, but I do remember Ricky going, hey, I don't think Adrian's really doing anything or something along those lines. He's like, I'm going to fire him. And I was, I just like, I was either like, okay, or didn't say anything, which was the same as saying, like giving permission. Yeah. So then what, he fired you? Yeah. How was that? What, he came up to you? No, he DM'd me. He DM'd you? Through Dan's, you. Pro, through Dan's account. He texted text I thought you got a phone call. I thought you got a phone call. No, they don't respect me like that. That's horrible. What, he texts you, he's like, you up? <laughs> no, and you're like, like, yeah, and he's like, like, hey man, sorry, it's not working out. Knock, knock, and you're like, who's there? And he's like, not you, you're fine? <laughs> Pretty much. Damn. What a piece of shit. So then what do you think? You're like, cool, I can go back to hanging out with my friend parents? No, I was like, this is my last resort. I will not do a third apprenticeship. I don't know how to do anything else. That was your second one? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so like a lot of failure at that point in your life. Pretty much. I to say you did. We're not all born prodigies, Cam. Not even that, but you fucked up the first one. I didn't <laughs> fuck up the second one. <laughs> I left the, I left the Yo, first one. Yo, not many people get two chances out of fucking apprenticeship. Some of us are just better than you. I don't know. Like, I'm looking at them. It's okay, Adrian. I had two apprenticeships. Yeah. And I got fired from both of them. We had different reasons for being fired, though. Did we? <laughs> yeah. Did we? Yeah, we did. Anyway. <laughs> Gorgeous. That makes <laughs> That's uh, Adrian's job. Do you judge people based on what their coffee order is? I judge people based off what they look. Like, look at Cam's coffee order. Looks like a tiny lesbian. I got the manliest <laughs> drink they have. You did? Yep. Is that just all sugar and whipped cream? Caramel crunch frat, baby. Whatever option had sugar, you said yes. To be honest, it's just like breakfast dessert. Breakfast dessert? That's what, that's what this is. No straws, though? Get fucked. I don't know. Just suck start it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, then, so anyway, you got fired. Yeah. And then you came back. The next day. That was the turning point in your career, uh, I think. I was at a the girl's next house. Day. You were at a girl's house? I was house? at a girl's house when I got- A woman lady. A lady of the night, of the night if you will. Was it a lady of the night? No. Like you paid for it? No. Oh. I couldn't afford money. <laughs> you would have though, if you could afford it? No. I've done better. No, I was at her house in the morning and I got the call from, or the DM from Ricky. And then I, she came with me over here and she stayed yeah. in the car while I went to go talk to you. I think really? Yeah. Who was so, it? I don't remember her name. You do? You don't want to say? I don't remember. She was like one of those, you don't have to say. not her real name, but like, you know, the made up name. E-girl. Like a uh, MySpace name? <laughs> like, no, like when you, can you give yourself a nickname? Give like me an cash. example. Like Cameron, it's not Cameron, he's Cam, but we can call him C or something like that, you know? That's kind of gay. Nobody calls me. Well, Cam... Like is his name? Yeah. It was another part of her name. I don't like fucking it's remember. Just like my name shortened. <laughs> like it was just a nickname. Yeah, I guess. What so. was the nickname? It's like, I don't remember. Like, like, like how, bring it up, Adrian. Like how you go by Ghost. Nobody's ever called me that. that I can start. Name? I can start Axel. right now. Axel. What is it? I'm still proud of that name. Wait, what was it? Axel. Axel. That used to be your old tattoo name. Yeah, Axel Tats. <laughs> yeah. Like I thought it was sick. <laughs> I think I'll ghosts name, are sick too. I name my children Axel. All of them. All of them. Same name. Yeah. Just Axel. spell them different. One, one two, three, four. One's Ax A X E L. One's A X L E. <laughs> one's just A X L. <laughs> well, I don't want to skip over this because this is just like literally the most important thing you've ever done. You got fired. Yeah. It was like, hey, you're not good enough. Not only are you not good enough. 
for me to eat, like you're not even good enough for me to directly fire you. I'm gonna let a, you know, an empl another employee fire you. <laughs> okay, Wait, how long ago was this? Looking back is Almost fucking hysterical. Almost three years ago. Yeah. Three years, wow. Yeah. And then you said, fuck that. I'm gonna take control of my own life, right? You pushed your student helper aside. No, I was, I, like, got this. I was like, I'm a loser. I'm not gonna make it anywhere else. I'm gonna have to go <laughs> beg for this job. So you humbled yourself, yeah. which is important, important. You came back here and I don't remember what you said to me, but it was probably something along the lines of like, hey, like I wanna do this yeah. and I'm willing to do anything. Yeah, pretty much. And then I got a fucking boner. Because <laughs> uh, like, cause that's what I did. Yeah. And like, and a lot of people that I've seen like do really well in their apprenticeship had that mindset, even if they didn't start with that. And then you crushed it after that. You were like the best apprentice we ever had. You, know, you listen, you did everything you tried to learn. That was cool. I mean, was it cool for you, or, or no. you weren't really like seeing any of that? I mean, it was, like, okay, I mean, it was sick because I got to go on a run every five minutes for everybody in the shop, right? And then get one lesson for well, you. Yeah, because you were the only apprentice yeah. managing fifteen idiots. Yeah, that had to be tough. It was awful, and it's worse when you got mad at me for helping them. <laughs> like it's not my job to do. <laughs> Like, no, I'm like, where's my order? Like, I have to go pick up Dan's shit and then Ricky's shit. Yeah. Don't worry about them. I'm the only one you need to worry about. That's right. And then they get mad at me for not worrying about them. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. No, but that was good. And then, I, you know, now you're a tattoo artist and, and that all worked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night. What do you, do you think, I mean, because you got to see Cam's apprenticeship in comparison, do you think they were similar or major no. differences? Big differences. Go I on. think, what, I, knew, I knew what you did. For every apprentice, you would change your style of teaching. Right. See what worked better. Right. So what wor didn't work on the apprentice before me, you tried on me, and then you tried differently on, on whoever was after me. I, think I just think he didn't trust you to make his stencils. I made his stencils all the time. <laughs> Shut up. I taught you how to make them. Speaking of humbling themselves. <laughs> no. The amount of shit I've, I do, like wrapping up your clients, you never did. I didn't do that. You never wanted yeah. me to wrap your clients up. Yeah, I didn't trust your retard hands. <laughs> That's fine. I did it for everyone else. That's work for you, right, baby? <laughs> yeah. I spent more time doing runs than I did actually being in shop. Yeah, I didn't really like that. It's like that for the beginning. My apprentice beginning was like that, too. At least, like, first six months, you're definitely out of the shop more than you're in. Like, you can get away with saying, like, well, if I can't trust you with a food order, how am I trust you with a tattoo? Yeah. But that only lasts, like, two months before it, like, makes sense. But I, I learned fast. I'm going to use all of you to my benefit. So I added extra money into the what you owe me for food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People want me breaking down. I said, you, you owe me something for breaking you down until I get needles or money yeah, or something. Yeah, work it. I finessed all you fucks. Yeah. Fuck all of you. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I remember like you never, I don't, I can't remember one time you like coming to me and you're like, you know, I'm struggling financially. No, I didn't want to bother you with that. And, <laughs> kept then, it to like, myself. and then Cam started and it was all the time. And I was like, <laughs> I'm poor. I was like, what? Well, why didn't Adrian struggle? And government it's like, money. oh, because he was stealing. <laughs> and government money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you got those sweet, sweet government checks. And there was the one time I did ask you for help, and you had me doing all those reviews for those moving companies, and then you never paid me for them. That was fire. I didn't know. I had, I had my girlfriend doing them, I had myself doing them, I had friends doing them, and I didn't pay for shit. Up. Yeah. Seth, Seth was supposed to pay you. Seth sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, now you have the tattoo ability that will pay for the rest of your life. Sort of. That's another like mentor thing that you can say that doesn't mean anything. Just pulling this out of your ass. What? Just pulling this stuff out of your ass. No, I've been saying this for years <laughs> to you guys. Like, oh, you now have the gift of tattooing, which will pave the way for the rest of your life. Leave me alone. Don't ask me for any more money. <laughs> I'm busy, Adrian. 
I'm convinced you had me do those silhouettes and like drawing out the American trad so I wouldn't bother you. No, that's real. That was like months of that. That's real. I mean, dude, Logan's stuff. been doing the Sailor Jerry Tracings for like two months now. Well, I'll like make up some stuff, but I try to stay pretty on point with what I was taught. Yeah. Like I'll try to bring the modern spin to it. Like obviously we weren't using iPads or anything back then, you know? Yeah. Uh, but dude, that... Like, that's what I would do um, after I learned, like, sterile setup and how to not cross-contaminate because it's the most important. Like, I had three wooden pencils with a sharpener, and he would just have me trace Sailor Jerry. Because, like, back in the day, a lot of the shops had the, the flash all over the walls. Yeah. And they would have either just right on the wall or they'd have those, like, poster flip through things like they used to have them at Hot Topic, you know, with the posters in them. And you're like, whoa, that one glows in a black light and has a mushroom on it, you know, and one day I'll do drugs <laughs> um, like that. And with every design, it had a matching line drawing that was usually like in files somewhere. Yeah. So anytime they would get new flash or to practice old flash, they'd be like, here's our new flash. We don't have line drawings for it. You know what you'd make this stencil with do the line drawings, you know? And I would use the three wooden pencils because as soon as the one would get dull, I'd go to the next and the next and then sharpen all of them, yeah. which was pretty often, but to try to keep the consistency of the lines. And like with the wood pencil, like you can, almost like factoring the, the depth aspect of tattooing with pressure. Like, mm -hmm. oh, if I push too hard, it's thicker, you know, I could break the needle, whatever. Um, so that's good. And like traditional, good to practice on because like you see the fucking lines yeah it's not like crazy you get to practice the basics like curves points you know line consistency and there's not all this bullshit like if i was like practice your line drawings for realism you'd probably look like you had parkinson's you know like what <laughs> abstract art <laughs> yeah like just drawing dotted lines everywhere like no you got to work on like the fundamentals like these lines that go into each other yeah points whatever so that was a, a real thing i think cam still owes a bunch of hundreds hundred silhouettes you never got to do those i did like 10 i hate you <laughs> i did like 300 <laughs> well, silhouettes are good because you can hide your line work yeah but you run out of silhouettes to do people don't want silhouettes after a certain point that's what i found just nobody wanted silhouettes yeah. so i just tried to do stuff you that had, just like, weren't creative enough i was doing just like line work with solid black tattoos in them i was doing a solid black tattoo yeah. There are artists that have made their whole career off silhouettes. Yeah. There's people who just do solid black. Yeah. Blackouts. They're cool, but then I realize silhouettes take me forever. And you I'm could probably only think of 10 silhouettes. Yeah. None of them were even cool. No. What they were all some just of your like silhouettes? Black blobs. Uh, like duck. Here's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like silhouettes of a like character, like a Mickey Mouse head, or like a, like mass, a Master Chief figure, or a like gun. a video game character, or something like that. A rose, like a black work rose. Just solid black fields. Because you could totally break down an anime character into, like, just solid black forms. You could, but I'm not that creative, and I, need, I would need a, somebody already do it for me for me to copy it. You could have brought your student aid here. I was thinking of getting you one for Christmas. <laughs> I, this, I'm not making this up. I've been talking about it the last all month, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it'd be pretty funny, like, if we had... Not funny, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make fun of your disability, but uh, <laughs> cool. If we had, like, a student aide in here, and every time we did con you did consultations, he or she would help translate what's going on <laughs> in your head <laughs> and communicate with your client. Okay. Like, they're like, oh, I was thinking this, and you're just kind of like this. <laughs> and then the aide would look over and be like... Adrian's very pleased with this idea. So a translator. Yeah. <laughs> that help you sound it out, like could ring up the numbers. You'd probably make a lot more money. <laughs> check my math. Double check all your spelling on your tats. Yeah. The one lesson that stuck with me that you always taught me was, if you don't count your numbers end of the week, I will steal from you. <laughs> for, two, for two years, I counted every receipt every week. Yeah. Until I realized I don't care anymore. No, like I would never steal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, sometimes mistakes are made. And, like, I would always check my own shit yeah. when other people are doing it. Because, you know, everyone's human, doing it quick, maybe, you know. Yeah. 
Your wife cheated on you, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you can just see your totals on the computer. Yeah, but it doesn't break them down. Yeah. What do you mean by break them down? Like every receipt, every tattoo you did didn't break down the numbers you got for each one. So you could have missed Remember I was there. explaining how to do payroll and how complicated yeah. it was? For you, but for, like, for us, we just look at it. I don't trust computers. We look at the same numbers. Yeah. Wait, so like so my totals, have, does that have like that service charge? Yeah. In it? Okay, so you just subtract like negative. Yeah, but you're talking to Adrian. Yeah, I forgot. I like, <laughs> you know. I've had no problem calculating my numbers. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> I don't know if Logan's heard the percentage story before. <laughs> I hate the story. Have, have you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> tell the story. Tell the story. Make a wish. So, <laughs> so Adrian, I hate the story so much. <laughs> what? You hate, hate this? It's true, though. Right? I don't know exactly how it went, but it, I you're, probably, you're probably not far off. Yeah. Maybe a little bit's exaggerated, but the key facts are not exaggerated. <laughs> but yeah, Adrian started tattooing for money, which was really exciting. I mean, that's like what you hope you would get to. Like, wow, I've been, you know, training here for a fucking year and a half or whatever, a year. Um, now, finally, <coughs> I'm going to get paid. And this is going to be my career and title. So it's a very exciting moment. It's easy to look, it's easy to look past stuff, you know, like money. Um, I was like, cool, man. Like, you're going to do tattoos now. This is how the payment structure works. You're going to get a check every week. I add up all your totals, you know, just for now. Because uh, you're, you know, a first-year apprentice. You're on 50%. Um, which is a crazy increase from zero. So. <laughs> he's excited, you know? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's great. Like, you know, whatever, being nice, thankful, whatever. And I'm like, all right, cool. Um, so that makes sense to you. I think I maybe told him, like, check the math, you know, make sure your numbers are right. There's a lot of artists to do. You know, I'm pretty good, but I'm human. I'll make mistakes. Okay, you know, okay, he says he's excited. Uh, so I'm like, cool. So again, whatever your total is, you get 50% of that. And then I explained, you know, the sliding scale that there are opportunity for more later. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I could just tell that he didn't, something wasn't clicking. I didn't know what it was yet, but it something, <coughs> you know, so I was like poking around at what we talked about to like see how we react. And, you know, then finally it's like, um, you understand how percentages work, right? And just by like the face he made, like I knew that was it. <laughs> we found it. We found the part of the conversation that he didn't understand. <laughs> He's like, yeah, totally. And I remember like turning, like half turning, like I'm done with the conversation and I just couldn't fucking let it go. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> I was like, I have to pry. I have to figure out what this is. So he just said he understands percentages. I don't believe him. You know, the, the head's like, just let it go, John, let it go. But, you know, I can't. So I look at him and I'm like, what's 50% of 100? <laughs> <laughs> and he stands there like, fuck, like he caught me, <laughs> essentially. And uh, like I could feel a grin growing on my face. <laughs> like I fucking got him. And, like, just excited, like, knowing I had him and, like, how is he going to answer <laughs> this? You know, I know he fucking doesn't know percentages. The best part is this is a really simple fucking <laughs> question. And he doesn't know. And how is he going to answer this? And he hit me with honesty. He goes, uh, I don't really understand percentages. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, yeah, no, that's cool. Percentages are hard. <laughs> And I'm like, don't worry, dude. I'll do the math. Your checks will be fine. <laughs> and that's when I started stealing back from Adrian. <laughs> Adrian, what did it tell him to No. I still need to bust out the calculator. To that's fractions, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, do <dude>, geometry. <laughs> Cam, on the other hand, I remember early on 
him judging me <laughs> for my financial spending <laughs> situations. I forget what he said. I also didn't he, realize like how much we were really making here. Or really, like you in particular. <laughs> <laughs> we don't make much. I don't know what that has to do with it. I just kind of remember this like this like piece of memory where I don't know if I was talking about myself or like someone else and like how much money they had saved up. And Cam was like, that's it. And I'm like, what? And then he's pretty much like, yeah, I was able to save that up before my apprenticeship. And like, I didn't even really have a job. Yeah, I saved a fuckload of money before my apprenticeship. Yeah, like, that. I mean, that's cool for you. But most tattooers don't do that. No, yeah. I was like, you got really judgy, dude. The account, the half year of college account <laughs> came well, out. Well, I did it through high school. What did you save up in high school? By the time I started my apprenticeship, I had like twelve in my account. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't Dollars? mean. I didn't mean it like that. I mean like, uh, you were. What jobs are you working? Well, I did the Duncan thing. Yeah. And then senior year, I got the job at Lowe's, and I was working for them for like three years. So and you were just saving from Duncan and Lowe's. Yeah, well, from Duncan, I fucking when I quit Duncan, I had like <laughs> hundred bucks. We all worked account. at Duncan, right? Yeah. Adrian didn't. I didn't work. Oh, there. I wasn't a loser. Go get it. Go work there for a week Go so we can week. say we all did it. <laughs> no. Adrian, it'll be the most, it's dollars. so much okay. fun. It's so much fun. Really? There's literally one right that here. Sucks. Yo, yeah, I'll put that bro. to the test. We just skipped over that real quick. I told him I was like, yo, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Get hired for one week. Don't get fired. Make sure and you fold up your uniform really nice the last day. And go up to the manager, Anita. Say it's What's her name, Anita? Because that's what my man is. Okay. <laughs> so they all named the same? In New Jersey. Mine was um, Danielle. <laughs> Cam, we're talking about me right now. <laughs> and say it was an honor and a privilege to work here. And then, like, pat the top, you know, of should the clothes and hand it to should her. Should I bow to them, too? Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> is that how you did it? What? Is that how you did it? No, I got fired for doing ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, didn't show up. I never worked a service job, like any restaurant jobs or food industry stuff before. It shows. I'm, I'm <laughs> I worked retail my whole life. It shows. Okay. Retail. That's yeah, horrible. Go on. That's oh, horrible. I don't even want to hear this. You don't want to hear my retail jobs. Why? Uh, what did I do? I was working at a sports store, like a family owned for- sports store. Got bumped up to manager. Sick. Made $10 yeah. an hour. You were wrong. I was one of three people who worked there. <laughs> You probably went up to him and you're like, just say so you no. Know, I'm willing to do what it takes <laughs> to make it to the top. And you're like, I'm the edgiest person here. I have to be the manager. <laughs> it was sick. I just watched movies all day. I didn't do a goddamn thing. I yeah. Do payroll. <laughs> I didn't. They didn't let, well, no, they didn't let me. They didn't trust me That's to do that. corporate. Mm. You know, I just stole from them a lot. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was playing sports at the time, so I just stole sporting equipment all the time. That's nice. It's nice when you have, like, a job that you're interested in, like, what they sell or produce. Yeah. What sports equipment does Hot Topic sell? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, I'm kidding. (laughs) I worked at Hot Topic for a month in the summer. I know you weren't there for that long. Yeah, I was never that long. How was that? It was awful. It was bad? Yeah, because they they made me stand out, like, towards the front door. And for every person that came in, you had to make a sale or something. That's fire. Oh, yeah. Wait, what were you eating? Sports store. Uh, like a sports authority? No, like a like a mom and pop shop. Oh, like okay. used sporting goods equipment. I was about to say, what sports authority has only like three people? No, it's like <laughs> like a pawn shop for sporting sporting gear. Word. We were right behind a baseball field. So we got tons of business. That shit. Yeah, and then worked a hot topic. That was lame. I hated that. I could see it though. I know. Like, you're just this fucking poser, piece of shit, teenager <laughs> that just found out about touching himself <laughs> and goes home immediately to do that. I still do that. Wear plastic things in your piercings, <laughs> get infections, talk about music that you don't know about. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we could go on the tangent of... Uh, all of our jobs, but I've, I don't know, we were just talking about all the Dunkin' Donuts stories and With Danny. Yeah. yeah. I'm bored of, bored of that. I did want to bring up, um, one of the videos 
uh, maybe our most viewed video, the clown video, which you happen to be the star of. That was a good one. Did you like that video? Yeah, that was good. That was probably one of my favorite ones. Did you know what was happening while no. we were filming it? <laughs> no. no. I was at home. It was my day off, and you called me to, or I don't know if it was you. I think it was you who called me to come ask me if I want to come in for a video. I'm like, sure, what do I got to do? Like, and you explained it to me, but I think you talked really fast, and I didn't get it fully. Did I talk about percentages? <laughs> <laughs> you just, just, I said numbers, fuck. <laughs> you're just like, yeah, we're gonna, we're just, you're just going to be a clown as you keep talking. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. So we'll put it on, and then you're like 25% clown, <laughs> then we're 50% I clown. I didn't realize I was getting a full clown costume and makeup. Was that the first time you went through makeup? That was the first video I even did. Really? Yeah, it was the first video and makeup I did. Wow. Star from the jump. Just downhill from there. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you fucking sprouted early. Yeah, and then you kept trying that same, that same uh, thing on every video that I was in, putting me in costumes and shit. We just did it one, one more time. We did the baby one. There was another one after that, too. But I liked it because yeah, you just let it happen. The, uh, <laughs> just let it happen. The, <laughs> the follow, like you just kind of adopted this character in the other videos, yeah. and it wasn't a consistent character, <laughs> which I loved. I lo like. I think it's funny. It might be because I like know you. Yeah. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's just funny in general. <laughs> but yeah, the clown video blew up. I think. Yeah. And then you started to get recognized, right? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Never. I've never been recognized. Didn't that, wasn't that girl, like, I got finger banged by the clown on TikTok? <laughs> oh, no. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be fire, though. <laughs> I thought that was a thing. I, I would have to record that on a video. Were we just making jokes about that? Yeah. Uh, it was a separate occasion. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> So what, in the video you want to get your significant other's name tattooed on your face? Yeah. After being together for, what, like six months? Yeah. It's pretty fucking serious. Was that, like, a, a real situation that had... I mean, obviously, like, that's happened during my career where people have asked and received that. But was that, like, a thing that had just happened? Yep. Oh, was yeah. It? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Did, did we... We talked about it right after. Oh, I didn't know that. It wasn't the face, but it was... That's wild. I didn't know that. It would have been funnier if you, like, chased that kid down and, like, learned his mannerisms, <laughs> how he talked, like, really got into the character <laughs> and then showed up as him. <laughs> I've done... I've touched... <laughs> God damn it. What are you thinking about? <laughs> What's going on in there? No, I'm I don't think it. I'm <laughs> picturing what? Uh, nothing. We have to kiss. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> I've tattooed a few people that wanted their significant other's name, but like I tattooed this one girl who I tattooed her name, the guy's name on her, and she, and she I'm like, you know, this is permanent, right? She's like, yeah, I have it, have it here too on my arm and on my other arm and somewhere sorry, else too. She had like had the name? multiple of the same name. Wow. I'm like, this is sick. It's commitment. Yeah. You know, I think she got it on her hand that time. That's fire. You just in case she did a Logan <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Wow. That was fire. Too bad she looked like a troll. Yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize this is going to be on you forever. People aren't smart. They're going to get dumb things. You have to make sure that they know what they're getting. <laughs> they're not going to come off. <laughs> like, I want them to question it, though. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it to begin with. Adrian, like, sits down. He's like, I just want to let you know. And I apologize in advance because, like, I just found out, too. Um, but these are permanent. <laughs> so As he looks you, still, you still want to go ahead with it? You still want to do it? But it's like the same concept. When you do script, you have them recheck the script 50 times. And have to make sure they want the name. Yeah. So they did. They wanted the name. They wanted the name. They, like, run that shit on my face. Yeah. And you're like, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I can't help it. I'm like that, too. Like, someone comes in with a really bad idea. Not really anymore, but earlier in my career, someone comes in with a really dumb tattoo, and I get excited. Really? Well, yeah. I always Because I, I was like, all right, John, all right. Go through the proper steps. <laughs> you know this is permanent, right? You're sure you want this? 
And I'm just like hanging on. Like, please <laughs> say yes. Please say yes. <laughs> no, like, yeah, I thought about it a lot, you know, last couple of days or whatever. And I'm like, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Good thing you thought about it. I'm like, cool. So uh, I would like look over at my boss, like pretty much like, yo, I asked all the questions. He's saying, yeah, you know, like, yeah, let's do it. And I'd be like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> let's head through your face. <laughs> anyway, they were, hopefully their rap career worked out. <laughs> I follow the rule of don't get hand or neck tattoos until you have full sleeves. I told that to everyone for like a year. Yeah, I refuse like, to do those things. There are like those like rules out there that like people have. I don't, I don't really think I ever followed them. I was like, yo, if you want a fucking tattoo, let's get it. I tried following Because that's kind of how I was. And there were times where I went to artists and they're like, yeah, I'm not tattooing your fucking hand. You're 19 or whatever. Yeah. I tried following the rule, but then you guys would yell at me for not doing the tattoo. And I got poor. <laughs> <laughs> so I needed money. And you're just going to do this face tat. I'm not going to eat today. <laughs> yeah, so I stopped caring. Do you have a girl's name tattooed on you? No, I don't have any words on me. No guy's names? No. Yeah? No. I have script, but I don't have any names. What's your script say? We're not going to talk about it. I mean, we got the cool one from Oscar. Now I kind of want to talk about it. Yeah, now I'm curious. I was not curious at all. I did not care about you at all. It's and shit. Now. I really can't even read it. But you can. Nope. Because you got it. Nope. Go on with it. What, it. what is it? Is it a bad thing? No. There's oh. No uh, what does it say, though? I don't know what it is. You're looking at me like, John, don't ask that. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> know what it says. It's just bad. It's horrible. It was done in some dude's back room. Like the script is bad it's or like the, the name yeah. is bad or like no, the word, whatever. It's just all blown to smithereens. But I don't know what it says. You can't read it. <laughs> you know what it says. Just tell me what it says. What don't it make says. it weird. No. <laughs> You're making it weird. If you just said what it was, no one would have cared. But yeah. now everyone's going to judge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it your dad's name or something? No, <laughs> that way it's gone? <laughs> Maybe just it'll don't, disappear. Yeah. Just don't get tattoos in dude's houses in the back. Yeah, I was smarter than that. Yeah, Adrian, I was 16 and wanted ink. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. I didn't, I didn't even like tattoos at 16. Oh, no. When you got it, what did you think? I was like, this is hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're like that when you're like, if you're 16 and get any tat, you're like, this is sick. Yeah. Because everyone else, sick. it's like under 18 like, and their parents shit. are like, no. They like tell their parents, their parents judge you. Yeah. Sometimes they call your parents. I played sports okay. with guys who like had half sleeves. I was like, they're gonna beat me up. These yeah, dude, I did. Sh- bro, I was when I was in high school. There was literally kids with sleeves. Yeah, like just shit, garbage, trash, dumpster yeah, fire. Just I couldn't see it. Sleeved. Very dark. <laughs> couldn't know what it was most of the time. Yo, I knew a kid that went to Glades that had like a trash work, like almost blackout. Yo, at like really? eighteen. That kid's pretty cool. Yeah. He was ahead of his time. Yo, he must have had, like, bad shit under there from when he was, like, 14, 15. Like, by the time he was 18, it's just, like, black. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. So what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> it's so gay. You want to tell us? No. Uh, You're making it weirder by not telling us. This was pain. with pain comes strength. It was kind of like for my mom at the time, but it's pretty bad. Oh, sorry. I'm, gl- I'm, <laughs> I'm glad it's unreadable That's now. not that bad. It could be like way worse. I'm glad it's unreadable. Dude, I think I have, or not now, but I have like <coughs> five girls' names tattooed on me. That's sick. Yeah. Care, to, care to listen? I love the Hello, My Name is tattoo that you had. Me too. I wish I could have seen that in person. Yeah, it was cool. Were they all in that arm? Yeah, I had a lot of cool tats. I'm not as cool. They were on this arm? Yeah, I had a portrait of myself. Right here. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> Steve-O style. Yeah, pretty much. Like your, like your MySpace photo type, type thing? Ooh. When you were younger? Uh, no. No, they did. They like did me right. Okay. Like, I got you. <laughs> right. Better <laughs> like than you did yourself? Whatever. <laughs> like, I got this. And then I had Cool Kids Will Never Die. Okay. Then I had this outline of New Jersey here. There's no place like home? So I never had to shoot up outside of Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had like a weird octopus. I had the whole alphabet right here. Like it was like a graffiti sleeve. Okay. Um, like street art. Okay, okay. Because I was into that, Adrian. <laughs> right. Did you guys ever do that shit? 
Graffiti? Yeah. I yeah. wanted to, but police foul. Police are so <laughs> tight on that shit, though, kind of nowadays. I feel like, especially down here. I think they always were. Yeah, tight on that for sure. I can't draw, so Kim's like, yeah, back like when you were a kid, John. Like when they just let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's like places here you can like spray paint, like Winwood and shit. Yeah, but you yeah. Like a it takes the fun out of it, don't you? It takes the fun out of it. How do, like when I was underage. And, like, you're like, whatever, it's fine if I get arrested. I'm a minor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as long as you don't, like, do a serious one. Like, that was half the fun. Like, for me, like, growing up in Jersey, it was, like, running up the train tracks. That was kind of, like, your way to get anywhere. And then you, like, branch off. You know, you hit an underpass. You do this. See a little one, dumpster real quick. Bro, player. one time. Because I was, like, really into it. It was, like, my first, like, high. Was, like, sneaking out late at night. You know, doing something that, like, no one else in my group was really doing. Kind of, like, being rebellious. Getting to participate in art. And the whole thing. Like, having the black book. Sketching it out. Stealing the cans. You know, the day before. Making the magic bags. Which you guys probably don't even know about. The what? Magic bags. What's that? Carry one form? It's like a, a bag. Like a homemade bag that you'd, like, essentially, like, seal with, like, different things. So that when you put the can in it and walked out, it wouldn't set the sensor Oh. Down. Um, Adrian's like, you're a magician. <laughs> <laughs> like, waiting for me to say, and then you pulled a rabbit out. <laughs> I was like, you pulled a rabbit out. John's at the fucking wall with a hat, just pulling up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> spray cans. But, and then, like, I would put up, you know, my tag or throw up or whatever piece, whatever. And then, like, it'd be done. Get up, go home, go to sleep. And then, like, the next day, like, driving to school or, like, walking with the boys, like, you'd see it. And it was, like, cool. And I always thought that was really interesting, especially if I would, like, see a wall or, like, see something that was blank. And then just all of a sudden the next day, like, it had a piece on it. And, like, you know they went at night. You weren't sure. Especially if it was, like, really high up. You didn't know how they got there. Like, that was so cool to me yeah, when like, I was younger. They bring a fucking ladder down. How do they get those high up magic. ones? Yeah, they're bringing them fucking. What? The like, those ones on, like, the underpass, like, the high up ones. How do they even get up there? Ladders. They climb. Like, you're just hanging off the, the ledge, just tagging? Like, so, like, 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 a bat. Like, when like a bat we, from their feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when we would do it, like, we were literally taking off our belts. And like using that, like it wasn't like climbing gear or anything. <laughs> like, bro, a lot of people, a lot of people have died, like from falling, yeah, on certain things. I thought that was cool, like climbing up billboards. And dude, I remember like I was on this fucking billboard for hours, bro. And like I could have just like finished the piece, but like every time I saw headlights, I would like duck because I was like afraid or whatever. Even though it was like a hundred <laughs> fucking yeah. feet in the air, but. So this one night, this was this sucked. This one night I was out with the boys. I was trying to finish a piece because it was like this huge fucking thing that I didn't finish the night before. And I came back and we saw flashlights. And I remember it kind of like scared me and I was trying to like get everything together, whatever. I wasn't wearing gloves. I wasn't like prepared. I got too comfortable. Mm. And we were like running away they didn't see us we ended up getting in this parking lot we did have backpacks on though and it was like click clink click clink click clink you know <laughs> and the cop just randomly popped out of the bushes and he's like what are you guys doing it wasn't that late so there was like other people so like i was like we can get away with this mm. it's not weird that we're here you have to like tell yourself that yeah. this is not weird yeah. what you're doing is not weird <laughs> don't make this weird I'm like, hey, like, whatever. We're talking to the cop. Someone clanked. They were like, tishing. <laughs> and he's like, what's in the bag? You know? Long story short, he's like, yo, were you guys the ones spray painting? And I'm like, no. And he goes to look at our bags. And he, like, grabs my hand or something. And I had fucking paint all over my hand. <sighs> and that's not even the worst part. It was red paint. <laughs> so I was caught red handed <laughs> And the cop thought it was the funniest fucking thing He's like this fucking idiot Literally caught red handed You know making cop jokes or whatever And, and you're just like oh you're so funny Please don't arrest me you know Did he arrest um, you? Yeah he arrested me <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I mean they were like fine I was like 17 so it wasn't bad But it was it was late enough And then like you're going through processing and like, But they had to get the paint 
off my hands first, which took forever. <laughs> and I couldn't get it. And I, I think I was, like, trying to not get it so that I wouldn't get fingerprinted. Yeah. But it got to the point where, like, the cop literally had to grab my hand and, like, wash <laughs> it for me like a fucking child. You know? <laughs> and uh, so that started the um, long and beautiful relationship between me and the local police um, of me being caught red-handed. If I look you up, could I find, like, your photo from when you I don't think so. Were you too young? Yeah, it was all juvenile stuff. Mm. It was a lot of juvenile stuff. You ever did anything after 18? Uh, I don't think anything I got caught for. Hmm. I better at it. You got arrested for? No. Loser. You? It's been close. I ran. You ran? Yeah, I ran. I dove into a fucking lake once. You dove into a lake? Yeah. That was the move? <laughs> yeah. Stole from a Best Buy. I know there was more options than the lake. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a vulgar. it was like gated community or lake? Like, I swam in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, run it. <laughs> Just doing laps around the thing. You got away, oh, though. You know. mm-hmm. Did Don't. you swim away? No, there was like a little fucking, it was gross as hell, and I was pretty sure there was alligators in there, because it was a big lake. And I went like right under, there was like a fucking, the Best Buy was worth dying for? Hell no. Nah. All I stole was like a fucking phone case. <laughs> I threw my boy under the bus for at a Best Buy. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up, Adrian. Were you stealing shit? No, we go in. And you didn't even stealing shit. And you're I didn't know he was stealing. Place. Oh, he was stealing. He's, he ended up just he ended up just grabbing something. He's like, "Let's go." I'm like, "What? It's happening." He's like, "Let's go now." So we're walking out, and I guess people catch him, and they stop him at the door, and I just keep walking past him as they're as they're calling for me to come back. I just go wait in the car for him. He's like, and he's texting me like, "They're telling you to come back." I'm like, "I'm gone." I didn't do anything. I was in the, far, in the parking lot. <laughs> Tell them I'm saying no. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yo, could you text your boy to come back? Yeah, please? Really <laughs> saying. they ended up banning him from that Best Buy from, or from all Best Buys. And I just like, well, if I was your, as your boy, I stayed out of jail for you. Nice. Yeah. And then I'll talk to you. You're a true friend. Yeah. Somebody's got to drive us home. <sighs> well, speaking of friends, I know you have a lot of friends on the internet. <laughs> and I think... Kyla handpicked a bunch of different comments from your special friends. Did you? Let's let's see what you picked, and you can even you can even read them. Just take your time, sound them out. <laughs> if there's a tricky word, let Cam know. I'll explain to you okay. what it is. All right, let's see what we got here. Adrian Sherman. What? Mike or the Mike or me? Uh, just to start off this segment of comments, because I like this section and I want to. Get hyped for it. Can you do a bird call? Not directly into the microphone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it begins. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Someone says, am I the only one that noticed his hair changes? I don't know what that means. Are they referring? This, this is, is from wig? the clown video. Oh. Right? So you failed me, Kyla. Wait, is this from the Make clown video? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because that's a great comment. <laughs> if it's not from the video. Well, yeah, like you're... It's like you're a text <laughs> from one of Kyle's <laughs> friends. <laughs> you should just do that one. You can your iPad, just go through her text messages <laughs> and read them off. <laughs> nah. Am I the only one to think? Just keep Wait, wait, wait. No, I like that comment. I don't know what this means, though. My hair changed once. Are they referring to the wig going I guess they are. They're like, wait, (laughs) guys, am I the only one that noticed? No one's talking about the fact that his hair changed. It's like, yo, that's the point of the fucking video, idiot. Would have never noticed he has curly hair and rainbows. (laughs) Wild. That's that's natural. Nobody noticed that. They're like, these guys aren't even trying. They probably filmed this on different days. Like, his hair is totally (laughs) different. (laughs) Totally real. Wow. Uh, um, it says, I mean, I have my daughter's name on my face. LOL. Shy face. Sweaty face. Let <laughs> me see the emojis. <laughs> wow. They're going through a lot of emotion. I like it's that. It's a chick, too. She was really transparent with those emojis. She let us know that she was suffering while writing like this comment. The sweat mark is like where the tattoo is. <laughs> Maybe she's killed people. <laughs> Tear, oh. That's a teardrop, not a sweat. Yeah, Adrian. And her daughter's name on her face. What's her daughter's name? Oh, it's Ashley. Huh. Really? The girl that was dating was Ashley in the video. Wow. 
Damn. R.I.P. Ashley. <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> I don't, would you get your daughter's name tattooed on your face? I wouldn't have a daughter, so irrelevant question. Uh, you could just say no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's fine. You want to make it longer? <laughs> what about you, Cam? Depends. Who, who fucking knows? I'm not having a kid anytime soon, but shit changes. I mean, would you have your child's name? Said? I mean, does it doesn't have to be daughter. On like, my face? Child, period. Yeah, face is I like... I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, thrilled with the idea of, like, writing on my face. Maybe if it's, like, really abstract writing or it looks more, like, shape. Like the gothic kind of shit almost. Yeah. yeah. But well, you can only read it, not like graffiti, where you know what it you have says? more kids? I don't want it to be, like, a fucking <laughs> children's collage. Well, just the first is always the most important, right? I don't know. I'm an only child. Yeah. I have a brother. So. Ask the second child if they agree with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, to be honest, I think I was for sure the favorite. <laughs> Are you the younger one or the older I'm one? I'm the younger. You're the My older. brother's 29, 28, one of the two. No, so I don't think I, I don't think I would get my daughter's name. I just don't think I'd get a name on me, period. I might get something to, like, represent the family. But like, what if they're, like, a massive disappointment to you? <laughs> you got them right on your face. Honestly, bro, like, <laughs> with the drug addiction that runs in my family, specifically in me, <laughs> and passing that on to... My children is very likely. So it's I'm just sure you with the drug addiction. There then? will be a time where I'm severely disappointed. <laughs> you can be proud that they're following in your footsteps. Maybe they'll be big tattoo <laughs> artists too. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely builds character, but it's only like it's less than fifty fifty that it works out. Most people don't get clean or yeah. sober. Yeah. Most people just die. So I guess it's like cool if you like make it through that, but I wouldn't want to like roll the dice on those odds. You know, like a catch my kid like smoking coke or whatever, you know, some beginner shit. And like I'm not gonna be like like I'm not gonna like look at my girl and be like, it started, babe. <laughs> I know she's gonna make it through this and it's just gonna build her character. <laughs> Maybe she'll be a great tattoo artist. It's all I mean, character You, you like gambling. You don't want to gamble your kid's future? Like create a bet with my girl? Or God. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> you know who my money's <laughs> on, big, big man. <laughs> What's the next comment? Kyla, Bianca keeps texting you. Tell her to leave you alone. Literally my ex, crying face. He got our date tattooed after seven or eight years. I was supposed to be a partner tattoo. It was supposed to be a partner tattoo, yes. Put your mic like this way. Literally my ex, he got our date tattooed after seven or eight years. Wait, can you read it? It's a female? I don't know, it says dating. Let's pretend it's a female. Can you read it as if you're them? <laughs> uh, yeah. Literally my ex. He got our date tattooed Same after seven or eight voice. years. That's about all I got for Come you. Come on, Adrian. Yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's my voice because it goes as far as that. Oh, all right, go ahead. It was supposed to be a partner tattoo, but I got the name of my cat that passed away. So he was supposed to, he got her name. <laughs> she she got was her supposed cat. to get his name. He got our date tattooed, okay? Uh, and it was supposed to be a partner tattoo. She was supposed to get it too, but she got the name of her cat like instead. A matching tattoo. Yeah. And she just went with cat. Yeah. Yo, I don't blame her. How insignificant would you feel? <laughs> That's something Kyla would do. Yeah. There are a hundred cats. <laughs> um, I'm Ask not, me every day if I want one of them. Like, no. I'm not mad at that. Especially because I was a cat for Halloween. So yeah. I feel like I understand it from the cat's perspective. Mm. You have nothing to say about this? No. You don't care? Then go to the next one. Not really. You don't fucking care. <clears throat> I still have a tattoo with my ex name. Reminds me of the wonderful days when I was so much in love. I'm about to keep it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> They'll never find love. Like, wait, what happened? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what happened? Let me guess. You're still single. <laughs> <laughs> my ex's name. So you're still thinking about your ex then? They're like, it was a happy time and I've forgotten the pain. This is a girl, too. What a loser. <laughs> Adrian's like, oh, that's my ex. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
Uh, Kelly, is it? Is it is what, three, four? Oh, this is about you then. Buddy has an entire black arm. He can't say much. Someone said, have you ever said no to giving a tattoo? And then you said yes all the time. You're talking about your arm. Yeah, the black arm thing came up a lot in the beginning. I don't know. Maybe it still does. It still comes up once in a while. Yeah. They're like, this guy can't talk. He's got a black arm. Yeah. Um, that, I mean, that's, like, weird because I don't really, like, take that as a, a diss, but, like, oh, damn, dude, right? You know, black arm. You have a fucking black arm. Everyone gets black arm. It's like this disease that just spreads. <laughs> <laughs> it is though kind of let's be honest the first time you saw a black arm okay the first time i saw a black arm i was like that's dumb mm -hmm. i remember i was actually in disney and i was waiting in line i was young and i saw this young boy with a fully blacked out arm and i was like what lack of creativity because I didn't understand it at the time. Yeah. That it was a way of life. I hadn't caught the disease yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I must have stood too close to him. <laughs> because from that day on, you know, it started to roll around. Why'd that kid have a black arm? You know, why wasn't his dad there with him? <laughs> um, you know, was, why was he flinching when his mom would move too fast? Like, I didn't put the pieces <laughs> together yet. I didn't get it. But then eventually, like, that was the solution. I was like, I think it was, I don't, like, I just blacked out a small section. Mm. I was like, that looks weird. <laughs> you know? yeah, and then it, just, it literally just started, like, spreading on my body, <laughs> yeah. like, like a cancer. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I thought the same thing. But then, I re but then when I need to get my cover up, I realized I'm not creative. So we're just going to black it out. It's like an acquired taste thing, I think. Yeah. Because even my friends... A lot of them like it now, but they didn't when I first got it. And I've almost had it for a decade now. Like, they're like, why'd you do that? Or they were polite and kept their mouth shut and just judged me with their eyes. <laughs> but they're like, you know, I kind of like that. Now I'm used to it. It's a bold look. And then they're like, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Years, though, that took. Yeah. You going to black anything out ever? Maybe. Hmm. You don't have to. I don't care. Yeah, black out your life. I've kind of gotten lucky with, like, with the tattoos <laughs> I've gotten. I don't really have anything that needs to be blacked out. Maybe, like, eventually if I get tired of it. But as of now, I'm, like, pretty happy with all of my tattoos. Would you black your nose out? No. <laughs> you can black out your script? Maybe the bar? Like, maybe, like, a leg, but I don't think I would do an arm. Leg blackouts are cool. Yeah. I mean, the thing that blackouts are cool is you get more, people notice them more. Like, black and gray sleeve, it'll just pass by me, but somebody's, like, fully blacked out, I'm going to stare. Yeah, I like it, like, with... Like clothes on, yeah. It creates this like half and half look, yeah. This contrast, yeah. But Adrian's got a crazy blackout. You got like a designed blackout. Yeah, I want it to feel cool, different. Let's well, just need doing whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> I sent him something, and he kind of just you kind of just went off that basically. Up. Yeah. <laughs> what was the next comment? Or no, no, the one under it. Oh, someone said, "Have you have you ever said no to giving a tattoo?" And he said, "Yes, all the time." Do you guys ever say no to tattoos? I try to. Yeah. <laughs> then what happens? Seth yells at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like I'll redirect a client. That's yeah. the way to do it. If you don't want to do something, you don't tell them no. You just try to give them to someone else here. Yeah, I get guilt tripped. Yeah, or you can guide them into better. Yeah, that design. if I don't if I can't like talk them into getting like something like more in my range, I'll like send them to like Rebel, you, Luke. If it's like some kind of color that's out of my range still. Yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Yeah. The reality is I'm usually the only walk-in artist available. But you don't always send them yeah, So if like, I have no one to send them to, I send them home. Yeah, my clients will ask me that, like, now. Like, do you ever say no to tattoos? Yeah. And I want to be like... Most of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, are you slow? <laughs> you think I just, like, do magically everything? do the same design all the time? You think <laughs> everyone just wants that? No, no, I just filter out the bad <laughs> ideas and give them to the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love saying, well, no, no, no. And like a serious note, like I'm not going to take it on at this point at least unless I feel like I can really crush it. Like I'm one of the artists that's going to do this design the best. Because if there's someone else here that'll do it better than, than mm -hmm. me, I'm going to give it to that artist. 
So you know? me up for like a color trad rose. I sent it right to Luke. Yeah, cover up color. Like, yeah. cool, it's going to Nate yeah. all day. Not only will it do it better, it'll be cheaper because they'll do it faster. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah and the, you just want the betterment of the tattoo. Yeah, you anything like do it. anything like color, neo, traditional. But people, like, f- like, when we do that, people will kind of find it, like, rude of us. But it's just, like, I didn't learn to do that type of tattoo yet. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so I'm going to give you to somebody else who will do it better. I think it depends on how you say it, because I'll be like, yeah. well, yes, I can do this tattoo for you, but, like, honestly, I would recommend you to this artist yeah. for these reasons, the main one being it's going to be better. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. hit him with, like, yeah, it's a little out of my skill range at the moment. I would highly suggest another. I'll give him, like, two options of right. other artists we have here, and then they'll, like, kind of... would be like, Adrian actually specializes in infinity yeah. signs, so <laughs> he yeah. could nail it for you. If you want anything misspelled, you know the guy to go to. Right. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that for you, but then I'll ask, I'll ask you sometimes for like, do you think I, I can do this piece? And then you'll hype me up that I can, and then I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm incredibly stressed out trying to make something work that I don't know what I'm doing. You and then you don't work those days that help me. <laughs> 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 and you refuse to come in. <laughs> busy, Adrian. Yeah. No, but once in a while you've taken something out of your comfort zone and you've nailed it. No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally just, uh, he We can lie on He here. doesn't <laughs> compliment <laughs> off the meat table. No, like there's been a couple roses that you crushed. Oh, okay. Thanks. When like Johnny and I were like sitting down with you and like it was beyond anything you were putting out at the time. Yeah. The one on Rommel is like pretty decent. That was the first one. That was the first lesson we did where you sat down with me for 30 minutes. <laughs> you went home. <laughs> Allowed to figure the rest out. Yeah, what is yeah, it? It's, I mean, it's literally pedal and repetition. Bro, because here, like, yeah, I, wanna, like I forgot. I want to like show you some stuff, and then I want to let you run with it. Because I'm afraid if I sit next to you the whole time, you're just gonna be nervous and fuck it up. I do. And you're I gonna be like, I don't know percentages. <laughs> I can do like, like we're not 15, 30 minutes of like watching and guidance, and then I start to get nervy from. Because then I just feel like you're judging absolutely everything. Well, because right. I am. Yeah. No, I need like six hours of guidance because I forgot what you said tw- two minutes like, after you but, left. But then like by the time it's time to do your next piece, you feel like you still need guidance. Yeah, I'm always going to need guidance until it becomes a habit of me doing it so many times. I'm slow. What's your next comment? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm almost 18. I've been with my girlfriend for what will be three years. When I turn 18, and I'm getting a tattoo on my shoulder slash chest area with her initial. More, run it back one more time. <laughs> You're just the grammar, this coming out. The grammar on this is weird. Don't blame it on him. <laughs> I'm almost 18, and I've been with my girlfriend for what will be three years when I turn 18, and I'm getting a tattoo of my I'm getting a tattoo on my shoulder slash chest area with her initials. You so he really? like saw the video, and he was like, "Just let you guys know, I'm doing it." <laughs> Do you understand it? He's like, yo, I'm about to be 18. Yeah, uh, he didn't read it. When I am. Said 18, said you, <laughs> I'm almost 18. You reiterated 18 been twice. I've my girlfriend for what will be three years. When I turn 18, I'm getting a tattoo on my shoulder, a chest area with her initials. Where's the commas, the periods? You fu- he doesn't use them, so you're supposed to fucking learn. I'm that. reading it like he wrote it. You're not supposed to dumb yourself down to these people. If you had to give this Yo, guy... Yo, his name's Ghost. It's Ghost <laughs> Boy. Is that you, Adrian? <laughs> <laughs> Adrian's all Did you account. get the tattoo? <laughs> What's the no. initials, Adrian? <laughs> I don't have any initials on me. Yeah. Do you have any advice for this guy? I hope it's not his first tat. Yeah, I'd say it's not. Se- say this is like, it. It's seeming like it's his first tat. <laughs> and he's going to learn really quickly. I would say do it in like light blue ink. <laughs> yeah, or red. <laughs> or henna. <laughs> Stick and poke it. I would don't. say scarification. <laughs> I'd say don't do it. This is just whatever initial is. If it's just like C, <laughs> <laughs> huge. Yeah. My throat, shoulder, and chest. Why not both? Just stretching across. <laughs> yeah. Just commit to the full name. You get the whole name. First name, middle name, last name. Yeah. Make it a whole. Everything. One time I tattooed this guy's wife's name on him, and he spelled it wrong. <sighs> Really? And they both showed up the next day so that I could black it out. Was it like a different language? Nope. <laughs> oh. I think the name was Hannah. Mm. One N? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. That's unfortunate. You have any advice for this guy? I'd say don't do it. Little side of Sue? Little what? No, nothing. <laughs> 
If you go to Adrian, he'll misspell the initials for you. It won't be her. Yeah. I'll probably ask you 50 times. Are you sure? It's literally two letters. She's the one. <laughs> what does she look like? Would you cover it or make him learn his lesson? No, I wouldn't cover it. Right. I can't do cover-ups to begin with, but I wouldn't even try. <laughs> Would you pretend you're a magician and then the trick fails and you say, sorry, I tried everything? <laughs> yeah. We do all we could. Can't help you anymore. You get out your Harry Potter wand from Harry Potter World and try some spells on it. Speaking of Harry Potter, I'm Harry Potter like, tonight. Oh, the curse is strong. <laughs> Pull out the cheese grater. You're Harry Potter tonight? Yeah, it's going to be my costume tonight. Boy who lives? For now. Yo, you've had a lot of costumes this past <laughs> couple days. Yeah, one for every day. Yeah. What fucking costumes did you have? I had the mime. We did. The mime was cool. Yeah, those are cool costumes. I didn't like that one as much. Adrian. <laughs> But he's like, <laughs> he's like, but I was a minion the next day, and that was fire. Yeah, it's more comfortable. <laughs> what are you talking? Our fucking yeah. our mime outfits were jeans and a long sleeve tee. Yeah, we had to wear makeup too. I don't like wearing it doesn't makeups. Get more comfortable than what we were wearing. No, I was sweating, and my feet it was a little hot. You like the makeup I did for you? No. <laughs> you like the cam? Adrian's makeup? Yeah, that I did. Yeah. I like the little uh, addition you did at the end. Little, little swerve on the side. <laughs> Little nip slip. <laughs> that, I think the makeup would probably make your style worse. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but whatever. You're getting surgery, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Right. Sheesh. What if they take your eye out? Sick eye patch. You just gulped. <laughs> <laughs> it's eye patch time. Yeah. What's the next comment? <clears throat> Coming from a dude who tatted his whole arm black. Laughy face. Tyler's just picking out the fucking <laughs> black arms. Black arms matter. Black arms matter. They do. I don't really want to talk about black arms again. We just went on a whole thing. <laughs> I proposed to my girlfriend after three months. La- what are you? Christian? <laughs> Mormon? <laughs> That's a bummer, dude. I think they just felt left out and they like wanted to say something. <laughs> but, like That comment was unneeded. <laughs> yeah. Was he trying to flex? I feel like all about the, tattoos, something that's forever, not like marriage. I feel like all of his friends were married, and he just wanted to be part of the. I'm squad. also here. Yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. Number one cause of divorce, marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. It's kind of fire. I feel like the guy with the massive holes in his ear can't judge. Doesn't he know only God can judge? The Do judge it. can guide me. <laughs> I have faith only God can judge me It's not faith What is it? Faith It's high faith. faith So obviously I'm a crowd favorite in this video Yeah Which I'm sorry I know this was your time to shine I'm not just talking about the clown at all <laughs> I'm sick Good job Kyler I like this because I feel like every, Most people that <laughs> yeah. are upset Probably have Done What the clown did in the video 100% You should let me Like This is like off video But like for next <laughs> For next one, go on. <laughs> as soon as you said off video, I'm like, go on. No, but like for the next podcast, when we talk about the video, let me know what video I'll go through the comments. Cause she's picking horrible ones. <laughs> Yo, I've seen some pretty grimy comments. Cause I'm great. This video has 20 million likes, like to her views. There's hundreds of thousands of comments, probably. What else we got? <coughs> The huge prosthetic nose is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. As soon as Cam said yeah. that. Just All right, Kyle, that was solid. Oh, that's good. Good. That was a banger. That's good. It's not prosthetic, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to say, were you wearing a <laughs> I wasn't. Nobody no. gave me that one. <laughs> I think just like the instant they added the paint to it, they are like, there's no way that thing's real. That's good. It's homemade, baby. Damn. When you, when you sleep, natural. do you sleep on your side? No, I'm at back. Your back? Yeah. I was wondering if you like kickstand. <laughs> you, I knew you were gonna say that. Plank with your nose. <laughs> no, Cam. I can just breathe really good. Did you like sniff things really good? Did you pick your nose a lot as a kid? I still do. You get fucking three just fingers like up there. Blew that shit out. <laughs> yeah. Like girl, girls in porn, they're doing anal, and it just like goes in way too easy. You're like, you've been doing this a lot, huh? Yeah. I could probably get my thumb. In your nose, no problem. I don't think so. Were you just picturing that? Yeah. Was it weird? I'd love to try my own thumb. Because where would my other fingers go? Because I'd come in from the front, <laughs> so they'd probably just end up in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> yeah, like fish hook from the back too. <laughs> I hate to clear your sinuses, boy. <laughs> I hate this. Next comment. <clears throat> Says the one with the basketball hoops for ears. Take your shot. For you. Take your shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try? <laughs> Ooh, this one's mean. Do your fucking job what you paid. Don't judge customers. You you do what you want. They do what they want. Easy. Put the U's instead of written you. We wow. judge every. No, I never customer. thought about it like that. Now that you've said that, random internet guy. <laughs> that I don't know. Girl. Elvis. 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 I wonder yeah. if it was Elvis from the other night. <laughs> Probably could. Just do your fucking job. There was a lot of comments like that. Um, but it's like every video we take like we are doing our job yeah like that's our job that's literally what the videos are about yeah it's our job we never film at home <laughs> well so i'm i think what he's saying is like i love the videos keep them coming i love how he ended it with the easy easy <laughs> <laughs> you do what you want they do oh wow now that i'm reading this again do your fucking job which you paid. You paid me to do your job? Do your fucking job, which you paid. Don't judge customers. You do what you want. They do what they want. First yeah. off, I don't know what which you paid. I didn't pay anyone. <laughs> um, don't judge customers. Okay, yeah, whatever. Like, you don't judge people. Uh, you do what they want. Well, you do what you want. It's like, yeah, I'm doing what I want. Like, I don't want to fucking put up with this. I want to address the fact that when people do this, they're clowns. So I'm doing what I want. And they do what they do. You wanted to get the fucking tattoo in the video. So you, so you got it. Yeah. Everyone's happy. He's just explaining the video for everyone. Like, in case you easy. didn't understand. Yeah, he's <coughs> easy. Yeah, because he's saying, like, it's easy to follow, I think. Yeah, yeah he's like, easy. Like, he, he wrote it backwards. Probably his dyslexia. <laughs> Like, easy, everyone. <laughs> Let me explain the video. Um, this guy's doing his job, which you paid. I guess he's referring to you. Yeah. You paid. He's going to do his job. Don't judge the customers. He's probably talking to, you know, the comments before. Um, and then he explained it. John's doing what he wants, and Adrian's doing what he wants. So, thanks, Elvis. So, I know anybody who says they don't judge people is a liar. We all judge it's part, everybody. It's literally part yeah. of humanity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you say you don't judge someone, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> At least own up to it. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, do you judge people? You're a piece Cap. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're a liar. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck does it matter to anyone else? If the man wants a dumb tattoo, slap it on him. Y'all need to stop judging, clown face. Who's he talking to? It sounds like he's not talking to us. I think he's talking to the viewers for us. Yeah, the other commenters. Yeah. I love the little world that develops in the comments. It has <laughs> nothing to do with us. <laughs> it's people that they're like, they just got off work or they're on work and they're like, back to the real world. They get in the comments. Well, it's like a war like a, going on. They start like a whole argument that tangents from what the video is about. It starts with this whole thing completely separate. I like when there's already an argument going on. Yeah. And someone that hasn't been participating comes in and they like take a side or they like bring up a point that they think hasn't been brought up. I just read it as they're like, I'm here too <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> the plot. I am begins. part of this. <laughs> yeah. I have relevance. <laughs> What the fuck you care? You're getting paid regardless. Just keep them coming. Find a good one. Me thinking back to when my boyfriend in high school got my whole name tattooed on his chest. Nice. Proud of you. <laughs> Bummer. You guys still together? Yeah, they don't sound like it. <laughs> so, is he single? <laughs> so, are you single? Ye you up? <laughs> Adrian's like, I'm down to get your name. I'm down, I'm down if you're down. <laughs> uh, that's it. What was that one? This was... I don't know what this was. Okay. Yeah. First time it's up. Well, do some comments. Not really. Yeah. Lacking. I don't know if it's Kyla's fault or the commenter's fault. Someone's lacking. 
So, um, yeah, whatever. You killed it on the clown video. Yeah. Would you do it again? Probably. Why? It would be kind of cool if you dressed up like the clown on Halloween. Why didn't we do that when we went out? That would have been great. Kyla was, yeah, a, cl Kyla mean, was a clown. Kyla definitely been noticed. Kyla was a clown. Yeah. She changed, though. She was apparently a cat. <laughs> I thought you were dressing as a whore. And then you changed it to a cat or something. No, it was a like cat that was only wearing a bra <laughs> <laughs> or something. Huh. And then... No tail, nothing. Yeah, no commitment. I told you to put the tail on. No commitment. Oh. Up your ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then she switched to a clown. <laughs> She's a joke. All she did was take her outfit off. Do you even take the outfit off? You just put the makeup on, right? Uh, never mind. What? Never mind. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for coming on, Adrian, today. Um... I'm quite done talking to you. <laughs> okay. I've been done for 10 minutes, if I'm being honest. Um, but I would like you to sign us off. If you know. <laughs> All right, well, on that note, done for the day on Unemployable. Cam, John, and Adrian signing off. <laughs> Charge more, playa.